So it's not every day you're in the presence of a, a mighty astro miner. So could you tell us a little bit about your, your daily duties in life? As John Rochard or as John St. John? Well, whatever you like. Uh, well, as John Rochard, yes, I'm an astro miner. I'm originally from Mississippi, and I've got a big job ahead of me because my team has been lacking, if you know what I'm saying. And it's time to get it in gear and make stuff happen with Skyrig. So what, what's a regular day for you like, and what, what kind of stuff are you doing? As John St. John or as John Rochard? Well, I think we're keeping in character for now, and then maybe we'll, we'll get to John St. John a little bit later. Typical day for me is mining this asteroid, trying to get this rock to give up its secrets. That's pretty much what I'm all about. Am I right on that? Am I about there? I think I'm about there. Yeah, that's what it's like. Yeah. Turbinium? Space diesel. Space diesel. That's what we're talking about. Yep. So, so what's your team like, and, and who's in your team? You know, uh, how do I answer that, Bert? <laughs> um, on John Rochard's team, let's see, there's Skyler. Um, Sander? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I haven't played the game enough myself yet to answer all these questions. <laughs> You're just a simple miner, aren't you? I'm a simple miner with a simple mind. So if we switch to the actor, John St. John, uh, could you tell us a little bit about what the experience is like uh, working on a game like this and, and providing the voice? Oh, sure. Now, this is something I can really truly speak on, okay? Um, it's wonderful. I love being in a studio environment working with really talented people. The, uh, the director on this, well, Bert directed um, from Finland. Were you in Finland when you directed it? Along with Lonnie Manella, who is an incredible voice actor and a casting director. And uh, the environment in the recording studio, always fun. Um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of little jokes going on in the background that you don't get to hear, the outtakes and such. And um, it's just it's a, a fun environment when we record. Everybody's lighthearted, having a good time, getting into character. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed it. And I guess a lot of video game fans sort of idolize you and, and know your work from before. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about what that is and, and sort of, you know, being being sort of known for a character that's perhaps uh, not a real one and and you haven't they haven't seen your face perhaps but they know your voice oh i think he's referring to duke nukem i couldn't say that but yeah. but, but but it's okay if i do even you know i as john rochard i can tell you i have a lot of respect for duke he was a predecessor so to speak um uh you know what i i hope that i get as many fans from john rochard and from this game uh, Rochard, as I did from Duke Nukem. It's great having fans. I, that makes my job. I, I, I feel blessed sometimes. It's the perfect kind of blend of, of fame and still, I can go home and nobody knows me on the street. I'm nobody. I'm just another guy with kids, right? But I go to a convention and everybody's all over me and I have a million fans who follow me around. It's really great. I'm, I'm very lucky. Do you do uh, sometimes walk into like a supermarket and sort of just play around with that voice and, and sort of watch for people's reaction? Yeah, you're thinking I walk over to the produce section next to some chick looking at cucumbers and go, mine's bigger. No, I don't do that. I, I don't do that. Never? No, no. However, uh, quite often friends will have me, you know, they'll hand me their cell phone and go, here, say something to this guy. And I'll say, I'll rip your head off and shit down your neck. And, and, and they get a kick out of it. And then I just hang up the phone and throw it back at them. You know, I'm doing that all the time. So, so you, you, you get to record a lot of phone messages, like, leave a message after. Oh, yeah, yeah. Either leave a message or I'll rip out your eyeball and piss on your brain. Now, I'm looking forward to being able to do uh, John Rochard phone messages, too. You know, uh, right now I'm busy mining, so leave your message at the tone, you dumbass. Stuff like that I think would be fun. Because it's a, it's a totally different voice and a totally different character. It is, absolutely. The, the, the two have nothing in common at all that I can think of except maybe biceps. John and being, being badass. And, and being badasses. They're both badasses in their own right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, it's been a pleasure meeting you. My pleasure, sir. Anytime. All right. Thank you very much.